Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, back out in the little weapon, back out in the harbour and we're back chasing carrots. This time I've got Pierre on board with me today. Going to be doing a little bit of soft baiting, you can see him setting up his soft bait. And we got the bait and burly. Thought we'd bring along the softies just in case we catch a little bit more on the softies. You never know, done really well sometimes on the softies for the carrots. But we've also got the bait and burly. So hopefully we get into a few more. Might even luck a couple of snapper like last time. Maybe even more, we're a little bit later in the season now. So the snapper might turn up in a bit more numbers for us as well. See how we go. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Just in a nice little channel, a couple of banks either side of us. So we're just going to drift up and down this bank. And um, hopefully the gurnet are here. Got an outgoing tide and we've got a little um, inlet up here in front of us and what I'm hoping is the gurnard will sort of just come down go down through this channel follow that tide oh yeah we're hooked up guys but it doesn't feel like a gurnard just like last time we were here. Probably gonna pick up a couple of snapper. That water temperature's warming up a bit. And those spring snapper will start turning up. Shouldn't be a bad fish, Pierre, if it's a snapper. I know, it'll be a good one. The, uh, sorry, the way I... So not a bad fish. Good yeah, not bad. It's like last last week. Like last week. Yeah. How's that, guys? That's a good start. First fish on the softy this morning. It's not the right species. Swallowed, eh? Just engulfed it. And like I was saying last week, if you're gonna get a snapper this time of year in the harbour, she's gonna be a nice fish. Nice condition. Nice. How's that? Oh. It's probably going on about 65. Getting close to that 70 centimetres. Yeah. Mean. Oh well, try again for a goony. I think it's a kawai. Kawai, you reckon? Yep. Those little kawai. See? Oh, pee. That's alright. You can use it for bait. I don't know. Never mind. Same old, same old. Piers on, piers on. Got fella, not another silver. Uh, might be uh, Silverado. Steve Gurney. Oh, he reckons it's a Gurney. Yeah. Feels like a uh, Gurnet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Small fella. Little fella. But they are keeper that size. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. But it's about 30 centimeters. Yeah. There you go, Pierre's got our target species. He's a little fella, he's takeable, but we know we get bigger ones here, so Pierre's gonna yep. let oh. her swim. Gone. There you go, first gunnard for the morning. Pierre's hooked up to another nice snapper. He's been wanting a snapper, spring snapper. I'm trying to find the gurnard and he wants snapper. Oh, that's okay, Pia. Kawai! Gotta keep the old fella happy. <laughs> it's a kawai! It's a nice snapper. 
Penny yeah, about 60 centimetres. One of those 60 centimetre pennies. Yeah! Yep! Yoo-hoo! There you go. Another nice snapper. These gurnard are playing hard to get. But if you can't get a gurnard, you might as well get a nice snapper. Ooh, another nice snapper. Yep. Go in the bin. Here we go. Not the fish we want, Pierre, but hey. Yep. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Let's try another bait. Pierre's on though, another snapper. He's enjoying himself now. <laughs> He oh, was, why not? He was actually here more for those spring snapper. So at least he's on to a couple. Those gurnard are really hard to come by. We're thinking of moving in close to one of these banks. But Pierre wants a couple of snapper to take home, so we knew the snapper were here. When he got that one, he missed another one before, so we'll just try a couple of baits here. Pick up a couple of snapper. And then we'll have another shot at some gurnard, hopefully. Getting smaller, but at least still a... Still a nice fish. Mm. Yep, cheers. So yeah, we were flicking around the soft bait for a while and nothing was happening too much. When the gurnard aren't here in numbers, and obviously the snapper aren't here in numbers, it's quite hard fishing so we've just dropped back to the baits and hope we can pick up a few fish so we'll try a couple more here then we've got a couple of banks up, up the back here we're going to just move in we're sitting in about seven meters we'll move into about three meters three or four meters we'll try closer to the bank see if we can pick up some gurnard oh, i'm hooked up Another, car. Another snapper for the bin, hopefully. Yep. Oh, that's good. Like a good one. Just want a couple of snaps. Oh, that's better. And then we'll move on. Sometimes a snapper will come in and really take over your spot. You actually got to move. Oh. Need to play. Okay. Palm olive hands needs to. Plier. <laughs> right in. Like I said, it's like your first one. It's a little bit bigger, I think, Pierre. It's about the same as your first one. Ooh. Another one for the bin. Don't want to catch too much of these boys. This is our third one, so fourth one. Pierre's got a second one, so not a bad fish. Yuppie guy, yeah! Woo, Pierre's on again! <laughs> Spring snaps are definitely turning oh. up in numbers. Yep. A little bit better fish. Yep, yep. Yeah, these spring snaps are starting to show up a bit more. We were here last time, we only got the three. We're here in more numbers now. The water temperature is a little bit warmer than last time as well. It's a nice fish beer. She's a goodie. That's the same as yours. Yeah, about the same size. So why they fight? You know we'll enjoy a feel it. She said to me, last time we came to my place. Oh dad, I missed her. 
the fish you haven't had for a long time. Well, she's getting some this time. Yeah, I reckon. I think. The snapper here. Yeah. I'm getting hit. There you go, that's a there nice go. fish. It's getting, nice fish, eh? It's getting close to 70, I think, that yeah. boy. Pretty much. Yeah, so his um, daughter's been keen for some fish, but <laughs> he hasn't been out. This is his first time out this year, so. <laughs> <laughs> this year? I don't know. <laughs> been out oh, twice. Second the beginning. time, yeah. Been out twice at the beginning of the year. Nice fish. Well, we've pretty much given up on the soft baits, guys. Gone to a big chunk of kawaii. The spring snaps turned up some good numbers so thought while they're here might as well have a jam on them see if we can get a couple of nice boys even to let go we're only in five meters of water i had a couple of hits while i was helping peer Net is fish, so we've missed a few, which is always good. Catch a few, miss a few, let a few go. Oh, bears in again! What you doing, fella? Uh, just doing some work up workouts for my my shoulder. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's a nice table fish that size. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, we'll pick up a few fish while they're here, in numbers. It's probably about our sixth one in the bin there. It's probably about as much as we're gonna fit in there. So I think we'll just maybe catch a couple, see if we can catch a couple of nicies, let them go. And then we'll go try and have another shot at those carrots, those elusive carrots. Currents picked up a little bit. We're only using sort of about a one ounce. Ooh. Little nudge. There's a donkey. There's a donkey. The donkey. The this donkey. one is. Yeah. Strike. Number one. Oh, oh, we're on. Oh, we're we're on, on, boys. <sighs> Took that big slab of kawaii. That's what I like about using those kawaii baits. They hang in there. Oh. You pick up, yeah. A little bit smaller. Might even try half a kawaii head. For lemon Yeah. <laughs> Might even flick the softy out. See if I can pick one up on the softy. Trouble is you're not here in big numbers like I'm saying, so it can be difficult flicking a softy round. We're just getting the odd one that's swimming through. Another little, oh, another little 50 penny. Just missed mine. Oh, there you go guys. Another nice fish in such great condition. I was going to hopefully let this fella go, but he swallowed it. There you go guys. Just a nice little penny. He's probably getting close to that 50 centimetres. Nice fish for the bin. It's a nice eat up here. Yep. 
stupid snapper getting in the way. Oh, I'm hooked up and it feels gurnardish. Could this be our gurnard pier? Could this be our gurnard? Oh, it could be, could be. It's got a little nod there. I think it's a lemon No. <laughs> it's got that gurnard nod. Pierre. Oh, okay. That gurnard nod. It's got gurnard nod and orange to go. Oh, with yeah. It. yeah, boy. Oh, that's a good one. Gurnard at last, guys. Gurnard at last. On the bait. Incoming time. Yep, tide's turned, it's coming in, so we might pick up a couple on that incoming. Swimming back up the harbour onto these banks up behind us, so hopefully. Not a big guy, but well takeable. For the bin, yeah. Oh, peers onto another snap up front, guys. Peers hoping for a snapper. I'm hoping for Gurnard. Another nice snapper. Go, Pierre, go. Another goodie, eh, Pierre? Yeah, just another 35 centimeters. Another 35 penny, he reckons? Yeah. He said he's going to have a swim if it's any bigger. <laughs> Must have been that sandwich you just ate, eh? Oh. Giving you a bit of uh, energy. That corned beef sandwich had come in handy. <laughs> oh, he's a goodie, Pierre, he's a goodie. Another goodie, Pierre. Yep. Do you want to let him go or? No, this is my last snipper. Last snipper? Yep. That's why I threw the other one back. It's more. Wait for it. So I think I can have some nice fillet. There you go, guys. It's pretty much Pierre's last snap. It's yep. probably be our seventh in the bin. Being mostly that size. You don't really need a lot. No. Three each, that will do. That's a chunky monkey. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, boy! Feels like another gurney. Hee <laughs> It's got the nod, it's got the orange. Oh, he's a little bit small, Pierre. Quite long. Yeah, he's a little small for us. But another gurney, so they are here. Just a little fella. Just a little bit who went to the market, hey? Yeah. Oh, double hookups. Piers yeah, hooked yeah, up the front. Piers onto a snapper. I'm hoping for another gurnard. I was trying to catch a gurnard, but then. Somebody paints my gurnard into silver. Hey. Yeah. What car? Why? <laughs> no, silver and red. Or, uh, oh, it's a dumb snapper. <laughs> You're too small to be here this time of year. Really? Still takeable, but not for the size that we've been getting. Here's onto a snap up front. Another little snappy. Another little panny pier. She just doesn't want to come home. I'm sorry, a swallow the hook is coming home. He's coming home. Yeah. He's coming home. Tell the fish he's coming home. You're coming home. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh well. We've only got seven in the bin, makes eight. So he swallowed it, we're gonna keep him, we were gonna let him go. We're just trying for a couple of gurnard. Got some gurnard here on my last couple of baits, so we'll try. And if the snapper keep pestering us, we're gonna move into the shallows, hopefully get away from the snapper. That's a nice um, size, man. That's the perfect size. Yeah. I thought it was a little car one. I think they might have been fighting over it. The yeah. snapper grabbed it. Pears hooked up again. Another snapper. We're hoping that it hasn't swallowed it and we can let her go. Mm. Gonna let this fella go. Yep. We're just trying for um, a couple of gurnard here. Cool. That's a nice fish, man. Yep. Quality. So he's only um, lip hooked. He's going home. Oh, he's going, he's going. He's gone. Just chucked no. on a big two ounce no, jig head. Okay. Casted it out the back, started winding it in. I'm hooked up. Feels like a gurnard. It's pumping like a gurnard. And it's a big gurnard. Yeah, boy. Oh. On the softy. They are here, but they're hard to get. There you go, guys. How's that? Big two ounce jig head. Z Man. Orange Z Man. Joking, my face gone. Gurnard, they're quite good, clever too. There you go, guys, how's that? Nice, a And I was just chucking out just this little softy on a two, two ounce jig head. I was just doing the trick. We've got a lot of little kawai down there which are getting in the way as well as the snapper so i thought i'd chuck out a softie it did the trick for us so yeah not a bad gurnard for the bin a couple more of those and it's a pretty good day to be honest, Pierre. A few big snaps, a couple of big carrots. Mean day. Oh, I'm hooked up again, guys. I think it's a snapper, this one, which is a bugger. I'm just basically sitting that down on the bottom because it's on a sort of like a swivel. It just dangles in the current like that and attracts the fish could be a big gurnard pier with the silver stomach yeah snapper which I'll be able to let go because he'll be just hooked in the corner of that mouth yep. using basically a jig head How's that? Look at that. On that rig. That's a nice fish. We'll be able to let him go because the hook's just here in his lip. Nice fish. How's that, guys? So, yeah, it's just one of those. Berkeley jig heads sits on a split ring and it's sitting down in the current there and it's obviously just doing a bit of that wriggling around in the current and it's picking up the gurnard and snapper hopefully more gurnard bit of a different way 
for soft baiting not having to really work it because of that current that strong current and using the two ounce just keeps it right flat on the floor I was hoping that was another gurnard we'll try again I'll just plonk it down here not too far away hit the bottom basically I just sit it there sometimes I'll just wriggle it up and then let it settle back down on the ground just gives it a little bit more movement little kawai so we've got heaps of little kawai here which are more annoying than the snapper oh yeah hooked up again on the softy can it be another gurnet for us Yeah, what is it? It's looking a bit different. Or is it a good gurnet? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Oh, Pierre. It's a monster, Pierre. It's a monster. Oh, it's a good size, good. <laughs> Yeah, boy, look at that! How's that? That little rig's working a treat. Hooked up. Done a little bit of a shift. We had to get away from the snapper. They were pestering us. We're trying to get a few more carrots. And it looks like we got one, Pierre. Looks like carrot on. Keep carrot on. Keep it up. Oh yeah. She's orange. She's orange, fella. There you go. So we've done a little bit of a shift. We're getting hassled by the snapper. Yep. So hopefully, we've moved away from the snapper and we can pick up a couple of these fellas before we go home. Here you go. Another carrot for the bin. Yeah. That's what we came for. And the silly snapper turned up. Well guys, pretty much going to call it a day. It's gone pretty quiet, it's dead high tide, the fish has sort of come off the bite. Haven't done too badly, picked up a couple more gurnard. So we've got about maybe seven nice snaps in there, seven or eight. And I think there's a couple of gurnard under the snaps from this morning. So not too bad. The um, spring snaps definitely turned up for us. So we went hard on those while we could and then we picked up a couple more gurna just to, to finish the day off. So hopefully you enjoyed our fun day out. Peer back on board. Until next time, tight lines. <laughs>